Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again. I hope you're doing great. Does this screen look familiar to you? Are you tired of looking at it for ages and ages without getting anywhere? Well, luckily for you today, I'm going to share two tips to speed up your MSFS loading times. Stay tuned. We'll get right into it. Let's dive into tip number one. Do you actually use everything that comes with MSFS in the default state? Do you use all the airplanes, all deliveries, all the airports, all the world updates? You probably don't. But every time that you load up MSFS, those things are loading in the background, taking up precious space and precious time. So disabling them will it allow you to load up MSFS faster, considerably faster, and at the same time, save you some space. So let's take a look at how to do it. It's really simple. You go into Profile, Content Manager, you go into the Install tab, and you just search for whatever you want to delete. In this case, we could look at some of the uh, Bonanza, for example, liveries. These are taking up 49 megabytes, 40, 40, 30. Uh, the King Air itself is taking up 400 megabytes. So you catch my drift, right? If you look for stuff that you're not using, for example, the uh, city updates or the world updates, if you're not really paying too much attention to this side type of stuff, then honestly, you're going to save a lot of space. And at the same time, you're going to save a lot of time booting up your uh, simulator. Now, tip number two, and perhaps the most important one, not because it is just going to speed up your loading time, but because it allows you to organize all of your stuff in MSFS in a very efficient way, we're going to take a look at MSFS Add-ons Linker. This is a freeware software that is available on flightsim.to, which I'll leave a link in the description. This program allows you to organize all of your stuff by categories and only load what you're going to use for that session. So in this case, if I'm going to fly the Phoenix, I'm going to fly from Madeira to Lisbon, and I'm going to fly on the Veyu, I can choose for these things to be the only things that get loaded once I boot up MSFS. So how do I set this up? Well, it's pretty simple. I set up my add-on sim folder as the main folder for MSFS add-ons linker, and then I created subfolders, which allow me to quickly pick what I want to use. So instead of having a massive list of uh, add-ons, and liveries and sceneries and tools, I subdivided every single thing into what I'm going to use. So for example, if I wanted to do a flight from Madeira to Lisbon, all I got to do before I load up MSFS is load up MSFS add-ons linker, go to airplanes, choose uh, the Phoenix is already set up, so I don't actually need to do that. That's a permanent thing that I've done because I always fly the Phoenix, Phoenix so you can also do that. So I don't need to touch the airplanes. I go to uh, sceneries, Madeira and Lisbon. Then I'll choose the liveries, in this case the Phoenix livery from my virtual airline. Then all the tools that I'm going to use, which usually is FSU IPC, Eveo, Madeira Fix in this case, better toolbar, the vessels and the MTLs for my VA. So that's it. Even though I have 41 items, only 9 of them are going to get loaded, which saves up a lot of time on booting up your MSFS. Now you might be thinking, oh, it's kind of boring to be doing all this stuff every single time I want to fly. Well, they've got you covered because you can also use presets. So usually what I have as a preset is I have the default or what I call default, which basically selects all the tools that I usually use before any flight. Then all I got to do is just select the livery scenery and airplane. That makes it easier for me, but for you, maybe you want to have presets, airplanes, sceneries and liveries all the time. So all you got to do is just make a new preset. It's really simple. But the key thing to have into consideration here is that it, it is going to save you a lot of time on the booting. So this tip together with uh, tip number one is guaranteed to give you a boost on your loading times which is really valuable for most of us that have a lot of add-ons. I only have 41, but I, I know that a lot of people have more than 100 add-ons in their, their files. And it's a pain to have to load them all the time, every time you want to you wanna fly and then sit in the menu for like five minutes waiting for it to boot up. So yeah, if this video helped you in any way, shape or form, 
please subscribe to the channel, like the video and comment, share with your friends, help out the channel, it is really necessary to make us grow. Until the next one, safe flights to everyone, see ya!